Will your retirement be penalized because you make too much in retirement? That's what we're going to talk about today. We're talking about if you are working while receiving either the first supplement or Social Security, what happens to your retirement benefits? We're going to dive into that today. If you are new here, so good to have you. My name is Dallin Hoswell, financial planner who specializes in helping federal employees get the most out of their benefits and retire confident. So let's dive right in. If you didn't know already, if you are working while you're technically retired from the federal government, or let's say drawing social security, there can be ramifications to your income, to your retirement income, either your first supplement or your social security. And we're going to dive into how that works today. Now, let me make one thing clear. Let's say you are retired from the federal government and you have of course, your first pension, right? Your your base pension, you have that. And let me make one thing clear. It doesn't matter how much money you make, let's say working another job, getting a job as a contractor or starting a business, doesn't matter. You will always receive your first pension. That will not be reduced because of other income. However, income like the first supplement and social security can be reduced depending on the situation. So here's the deal. This is how it works. Let's start with the first supplement. Now, the, the reduction rules are similar between the first supplement and Social Security, but there's a few key differences that I want to make sure you are aware of. Let's start with the first supplement. Let's say you retire. And again, if you don't know, those that are eligible for the first supplement have to retire before age 62 and be eligible for a full-blown retirement, okay? So let's say you retire with 30 years of service as a federal employee and you're 57. So boom, you are eligible for the first supplement, which is an extra payment beyond your pension. Well, let's say you you kind of get bored in retirement. You say, I want to take a part-time job. Maybe I want to work as a contractor, whatever. Let's say you're working at the same time. Again, your first pension, your base pension is not touched. However, for every amount, for every $2 you make over $21,240. So that's the limit for 2023, it's $21,240. For every $2 you make over that amount, $21,240, your first supplement is gonna be reduced by a dollar, okay? So if you make $10 over the limit, your first supplement's gonna be reduced by five. That's how it works, okay? Now, let me make something very, very clear. Not all income counts towards this limit. The only type of income that'll get you in trouble when it comes to these, with the first supplement, Social Security, is what they call earned income, which means that generally is if you go take a job, W-2 income, or if you start a business, okay? Money that you're going out and earning. If, let's say, you take money from your TSP, or you have a rental property, or your pension, none of that counts towards this limit. The only type of income that counts against your first supplement and social security is if it's actively earned, where you go out and you're earning it. If you just have retirement income, you don't have to worry about this at all, okay? Again, only if you're working actively in retirement, you have to worry about it. But again, any amount of money you make over $21,240 in a year, then your first supplement is going to be reduced. And again, for every $2 you earn over the limit, then your benefits are going to be cut by a dollar. Okay, so let's say you make $50,000. Well, then your first supplement may be reduced by, um, that's about $30,000 over the, the limit, right? So your, your first supplement may be reduced by about $15,000, right? And so it doesn't take very much income from working somewhere so that your first supplement may be reduced down to zero. So keep that in mind. That's how it works. Now, the one exception, the one type of federal employee that is not subject to this reduction is you special provision federal employees. So you know who who you are. You're the firefighters, um, law enforcement, air traffic controllers. You know who you are, and you're able to retire earlier than the average federal employee. And the rule for you is between, let's say you retire at 50 years old, okay, as a special provisions employee, let's say you retire at 50. Well, between 50 and your minimum retirement age, which is right around 57, you could look up a a MRA chart, your minimum retirement age chart, which will show your age and and what your MRA is, but it's gonna be around 57, okay? Between retirement and, and before you hit your MRA, then you're not subject 
to any reductions. You could go out, work another job, you'll still get the first supplement. There'll be no issues at all. But between your MRA, again, around 57, and age 62, if you are working another job, that is when your first supplement could be reduced depending on how much you make. So again, for traditional FERS, there's gonna be that reduction if you make, if you're out working and make more than the 21,000, okay? If you're special provisions, it only applies to you between your minimum retirement age and age 62. Okay, so keep that in mind. Again, and that limit, the $21,240 limit of 2023, that changes over time. It's gonna slowly adjust over time, so keep that in mind, okay? Now, when it comes to Social Security, the reduction rules are very, very similar. So if you take Social Security any any time between 62 and your full retirement age, now I'm not talking about your minimum retirement age, I'm not talking about your full retirement age for Social Security, which for most of you is gonna be between 66 and 67, okay? If you take and you start your Social Security benefits between 62 and 67 or your full retirement age, and you're working another job, they will reduce your Social Security benefits if you make over that same limit we were talking about, the first supplement, the $21,240. If you make over that, then they're gonna reduce your benefits. Again, for every $2 you make over it, they're gonna reduce your Social Security for by $1. So as a general rule, again, this is a general rule, there's exceptions. It's a general rule, if you are planning to work and make a significant amount of money over $20,000, you may not want to start Social Security because they're going to reduce it, okay? You may not want to start Social Security unless you are over your full retirement age, which is, again, around 67 and above. Once you hit your full retirement age, around 67, then they don't care how much you make when it comes to working a job. They don't They don't look at it anymore. It This reduction only applies to those that are working and who are taking Social Security and they're still below their full retirement age, okay? So again, if you are planning to work and make over 21,000, you may not wanna start Social Security until at least your full retirement age. Again, there's exceptions that may not make sense for everybody, but that probably makes sense for most people, okay? Now, there's one exception. So in the year that you hit your full retirement age, okay? Again, between 66 and 67. You could find the chart for that as well. If you, if you just Google Social Security full retirement age chart, you can find exactly what your full retirement age is. For most of you, especially if you're young, it's gonna be 67, okay? Now, in the year you hit that age, your full retirement age, the reduction is smaller, okay? Basically, you can make more money before you get your benefits reduced. Basically, the limit is $56,520. And for every $3 you earn over the limit, your benefits are gonna be reduced by $1. So long story short, for between 62 and your full retirement age, the reduction is basically the same as the first supplement. The limit's like 21,000. For every $2 you make over it, your benefits are reduced by a dollar. However, in the year you hit your full retirement age, the limit pops up. You could actually make more money. It's about 56,000, right? And for every $3 you earn over it, your, your benefits are gonna be reduced by $1. So that's how it works. Now, I know there's nuances. There's Everyone's got a, a different situation, so you would just wanna apply this stuff to you as best you possibly can. It's just important to know if you are going to go work, how your benefits are going to react. And just to recap, your pension is not going to be affected ever. It's not gonna be reduced ever by how much you make working a job, except for in your taxes. Now, if you go out and make half a million dollars, um, as a contractor somewhere, well then obviously your tax bracket is gonna go up and so maybe they're gonna take out a little extra from your first pension in taxes, but they're not gonna reduce your first pension ever because working another job. But again, your first supplement and social security, they certainly could depending on the situation. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, there's a link below actually in the description to submit questions where we cover your questions every single week and we try to just serve you guys as best we possibly can. So I hope that's helpful. Have an incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.